Um, it's really hard to follow all of you guys' amazing stories because when I was first asked to be a part of this, it took me a second because I wasn't an addict in the same sense, but I grew up with an addict my whole life. I read many other stories and I never realized how many people's dads or moms, but especially dads, were their first person that hand them a drug. My dad did that too, and luckily I was able to turn it down, but I was still around it. But mainly I turned it down only because it scared me. Too many times did I take a needle or hide pills or flush something down the toilet. And to me it was more terrifying to try it because I didn't want to be like that. But I also wanted to connect with him, and I was angry. I was really angry because I lost my mom first, and my mom was a good parent. She had it together, she had three jobs, my dad laid on the couch, she did what he did, and I was mad. Now, I'm not a god, and a lot of people bring up God and how it saved them. And it was a lot for me at first, because I felt like God abandoned me. He left me in a terrible situation. And I didn't know really where to turn. And then I realized growing up later that I wasn't an addict to drugs. I was an addict of anger, and I was an addict of pain. Not physical pain as much as mental pain. I was taken from that family when my dad died and I found him. And that was definitely my call of, I will not do this. I had a little brother I had to be a role model for because he didn't have anybody. And they put me in home with my grandmother, who was my mom's mom. And I was in a beautiful situation until my grandparents both got sick and I got more angry at God. It also made me angry because I couldn't understand why this just kept happening. My grandma had already lost her daughter, she then lost a son, and now she was losing her husband. And I didn't know where to turn, but I turned to art, which is really amazing that I'm here. And I'm really grateful that Sandy was the one to paint my picture because I watched Sandy my junior and senior year of high school and she changed my life. That's when I was the most angry and the most alone. I was in this home that was supposed to be great, my family put it all together for me, they knew what I had been through, and they thought they were giving me the world, and in so many ways they did. But it felt like my pain hurt them more because they didn't know how to help me. They didn't know how to help my brother. And me sharing my story, I felt like I was embarrassing them at first. But then I realized my story was what was given to me so that I could help others. And so I could connect with them. And again, I never realized how many people I could connect with. Their, their parents being the ones that introduced them to those things. So I stood strong and I did the best and I'm really proud of my little brother who lived through all of it with me. He actually, he was probably the first one to find my dad and he was three, I was nine. So for him to run and say, something's wrong with dad, what can you do? I knew my little brother had witnessed the most terrible thing that a three year old could have ever witnessed. And if he could have been here, I would have definitely had him here. But he's in college and he's doing his thing and I'm proud to know that it helped him with that. But when I say I was a, a an addict to anger, it goes on every day. So it's not something you really get over. Grief, I've, I've learned through all of the grief that grief is love with nowhere to go. So I found places to take my love. Through art, through music, I do sound healing. But I also just send so much love to all of you. I see you all come up here, and some of you who are doing the best to work together like I am right now, and I just send you all so much love. And you guys have found a home. And I've since found a, a God. It's just my version of it, and it's not the same, because it's different for everybody. Spirituality is a really interesting thing, and I urge you, if you think God abandoned you, find what makes you feel whole again. It doesn't have to be God in a church. It's knowing that you were here for a reason, and figuring out what that purpose is, even if it doesn't make sense to you, why you went through what you went through. So, I just know all of you are here, because even if you don't know someone who's an addict to drugs, you know somebody that's an addict to something. I think everybody in a way is addict to something. So just honor that and ask yourself, why is it I do this thing I do? I ask myself why I get so angry at the world. And it's because I just want to save it. <laughs> That's all I really have to say.